What's up everyone? This is Panda. I'm gonna bring something to my channel that I have not brung to my channel before. And that is 4K 60 frames a sec. Yes, go. <laughs> so, with that said, let's go take a little walk. I have not and never post 4K 60 on my channel. So, let's make some changes here on this channel. I think it would be presentable to post that 4K 60 frames. And why not do it better on the GoPro Hero 8 Black? I know you guys are expecting the Go GoPro Hero 9, but there have been so many tests, including my short little test of my own. You can't really tell the difference. You really can't. 5K, 30 frames, to me, processing power and the lack that you can't use the front screen when using 4K 30 frames. To me, I, I just think 4K 60 frames works better. So, and that's a fair comparison in my testing. But with that said, so as a self-taught photographer, I have learned a thing or two about being a self-taught photographer and the cons and the bad let's put the good and the bad let's start with the cons cons when you're a self-taught photographer and you learn from other people you actually are learning their mistakes and you're actually performing their mistakes that is the downside to that because there's so many content on the platform that demonstrates like for video this is a great example, video. You know how many times I've seen videos on social media that emphasize a few things. One, how to convert or downscale a 60 frames per second video to 24 frames a second. And the answer is you just don't. It would not look as organic or original if you just shoot in 24 frames a second. If you want to shoot in 30 frames a second, shoot that scene in 30 frames a second. You want to shoot in 60, 120, 140, fine. But you can always slow that down into 24 frames a second. But listen, you can't convert a video that's 120 frames a second into a 24 frames cinematic video. It's, it, it wouldn't look right. The motion, the 180 degree look, rule would just be, be thrown out the window. But with that said, that was one con. Another is that when you actually go build a YouTube channel and you start off with content of what you have learned and people are telling you that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, listen to them. Sometimes the audience is right and sometimes you can see when the audience can be a little bit arrogant and wrong But we're not here to point who's right who's wrong You got to take everything with a grain of salt And people are only emphasizing like oh, I've seen this before I've seen this video before I've seen something like this You stole this from the idea from another video You get what I'm saying? But with that said I wanted to show you guys the 4K quality of this. How this looks? Looks great. But apparently on the GoPro Hero app, you cannot uh, view or preview what you recorded in 4K 60 frames for some reason. Weird. It's black. So, but it tells me that it's recorded. It's indicated that it's recorded. That's good. But with that said, everyone, I don't want to make this too sh too long, because 4K 60 frames is going to be hard. Um, listen, I never actually add 4K 60 frames on the laptop. I edit 4K 30 frames, 24 frames, but not 60. But we're going to see how smooth this is going to be turned out on the computer. But with that said, everyone, 4K 60 is good enough. You can't tell the difference between the GoPro Hero 9 or the 8. You can't really tell. It's, it's, you gotta be pixie peeping like a, 
mad picture peeper that you are. Like, oh, I see it. You, sh you, you stretch your part, dude. <laughs> but with that said, everyone, this is Panda. Want to support the channel? There's affiliate links, descriptions down in the descriptions below. If you guys want to financially support the channel, there is a PayPal, a Cash App, and a Remail. Be my guest and support the channel so I can make more content like this. So, with that said, eat, see photography, videography, and repeat. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Happy shooting.